Hi YouTube, it's me Shipbreaks. I'm coming to you guys today with a really quick tutorial, like really simple, really quick tutorial on this hairstyle that I have in. Um, I told you guys back in my last natural hair video that I wanted to try just some styles on my natural hair, play around with it, um, you know, and actually just try to keep up with it. So I did a really quick double bun or double knot um, hairstyle with some um, hair just down in the back. You'll see in the video, I have so much shrinkage, like my hair just soaks up whatever I put on it and it just draws up together, really tightly coiled, um, as you can see. Thumbs up for more natural hair videos, and if you guys have any natural hair products that I can use that's going to stop shrinkage, I don't even know if that's out there, let me know. Leave some um, suggestions down below in my comment section, and until my next video, I will see you all later. So from here, I'm starting by sectioning off my hair. I'm using my ear as a guideline, so I'm starting behind my ear and basically taking the rat tail of the comb all the way to the other side behind my ear. This is just going to help to make sure you're sectioning off the right amount of hair. Because I'm doing double bonds, I'm going to go ahead and section this in half as well. And then I'll go ahead to secure the hair into ponytails. I'm just using a hard bristle brush to brush up my hair. And I'm using a rubber band to secure the hair. I actually would suggest using like an ouchless uh, rubber band so you won't tangle your natural hair. So I'm just doing this to both sides. Um, once this is in place, I am going to go in and start to lay my edges. In order to lay my edges, I actually use um, the Ampro Style Gel in the black container. This just works best for my edges. Edge control will lay my edges for say like an hour, but after that my hair curls right up. But this gel just keeps my hair laid all day. So I'm going in to just swoop my edges and I'm going to perfect them just a little more by using a old spoolie. If you have a toothbrush, of course you can use that as well. But the spoolie, because it is so thin, it just works as it works so well at gripping all of my edges to lay them down perfectly. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, next I am going to go ahead and create the bonds. This is really simple. I'm pretty much just wrapping my hair around into a ball and securing that into place with another rubber band. If you have a hairpin you can use that, but y'all know I hate using hair or bobby pins so I'm just securing it in place with um, a rubber band. I'm taking the Carol Daughters Curling Smoothie to basically um, moisturize the back of my hair that'll be hanging down and just add some moisture to it. This is also going to help to activate my curls because I'm using um, a fresh braid out. I actually had my hair braided and I just took it apart, took it a loose actually, so that's how it looks before I um, add anything to it. So this is me just adding the, in the curling smoothie and then I'm taking my dimming brush to sort of activate the curls more. This just helps to get my ringlets to popping. In order to take away the white cast that um, is left over by the cow daughter smoothie, I actually use like an oil and I just run it over all of my hair and that takes away the um, whiteness and then it just adds some more moisture back to the hair as you can see. So this is pretty much it for the video. Like I said, it's a really quick tutorial, really simple and easy on short natural hair. Thumbs up for more natural hair videos and until my next video, I will see you all later. Bye. Oh,